Hey, how's it going, guys? Coming back at you with another lesson on the heart. And today we're going to be looking at the cardiac cycle. So what this is, is one complete heartbeat from the very beginning, from the time that it's filling to the time that that blood rushes out of the heart and into the vessels, either going towards the pulmonic system or the systemic system. And so the cardiac cycle is going to begin with the diastolic period. Okay, this is diastole, and if you look down here, I've, I've defined these for you. So diastole is the filling period. It's a period of, of relaxation, okay? And so this period is, is kind of a pause. It allows the blood uh, or the heart to fill completely up with blood. If you look at, at this figure, the first one right here, um, pretty much everything's open, okay? Blood is coming in uh, from both the systemic system here and here. And it's coming back from the lungs, uh, from the pulmonic system uh, in here. That's the, only one, that's the only view that we have a good view from the pulmonic system. Uh, so that's the diastolic period. So we're essentially just filling up the heart during this period. And I want you to take a close look at the valves of the heart while we're talking uh, about the diastolic period. Uh, we have the four valves right there. Uh, during the di diastolic period, you're going to notice that as blood returns to the heart and begins to fill up the atria, eventually uh, the atria is going to become so full of blood that the AV valves are going to open and just passively allow blood to flow down into uh, the, the chambers. Okay, So the right atrium allows it to flow down into the right ventricle and the left atrium allows it to go down into its left ventricle okay so the av valves are going to remain open no, notice the semilunar valves semilunar valves are going to remain closed and that's because there's more pressure uh, in the systems okay the pulmonic system and the a the systemic system than there is in the ventricles and if you think back to your anatomy classes valves are always going to prevent backflow they prevent any regurgitation regurgitation sorry uh, of blood so they're going to remain closed so that no blood that went into either the pulmonic or systemic circulation comes back down uh, into the ventricles and that's diastole uh, the complete relaxation of the heart uh, while it's filling up and becoming full of blood so after the diastolic period, we're going to move into uh, what's known as atrial systole. So if you look down here, atrial systole is the contraction phase. And we're talking about the contraction phase of the atria. Okay? So the top two chambers, right atria and left atria, are going to contract and actively now push blood into the lower pumping chambers, which on this side would be the right ventricle, and on this side would be the left ventricle, and that is atrial systole. The valves that are open are going to be the AV valves, okay? They're going to open up and allow blood from the atria uh, that just filled them up, and they're going to now start filling up the ventricles. So during atrial systole, the ventricles are in relaxation they are completely relaxed and now they're filling up and stretching out uh, with blood the semilunar valves you're going to notice uh, are still closed all right and that's because there's still more pressure here and that blood's wanting to come back into the ventricles and so these semilunar valves are not going to have that and they're just going to stay closed. Uh, meanwhile, the ventricles on both sides are filling up. Once the ventricles uh, fill up with blood, we move from the atrial systole phase into ventricular systole. And so now the ventricles have been filled full of blood or filled with blood and they're going to contract and push the blood up into either the systemic circulation or the pulmonic circulation. Um, notice here that the valves that are closed now are the atrioventricular valves, the bicuspid 
and the tricuspid valves, while the semilunar valves are now opening up. They opened up to allow blood to flow into either circulation. So that is because now you have greater pressure being created here by the systolic action or the contraction of the myo- the ventricular myocardium and we're pushing blood up through the pulmonic trunk and through the base of the aorta or the, the large aorta and now we're going into either the lungs or the system. So that's ventricular systole. That's the entire cardiac cycle. After ventricular systole, we're going to move back and we're going to see diastole again. The heart's going to relax. It's going to fill. And we're going to go through the steps once again and again and again. And this is happening uh, about 60 to 100 times per minute at rest in a healthy heart. Um, and, of course, it's going to change um, with exercise, some type of excitation, some type of stress. It, it, it's going to change depending on, on what you're doing at that moment. So this has been another lesson on uh, the hearts. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Hit the subscribe button if you did enjoy it. And I'll see you guys next time for another lesson on exercise physiology.